Alright, friends, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. My name is John Slop, and today we're taking a dive into another full-length album. Today, it is Quadrophenia by The Who. Now, I am so excited to be jumping into this one. This one is uh, one for the ages. You know, this is one of the most talked about albums so far. You know, I've had a lot of people mention it in my chat. I've had a lot of people request it. Dude, I'm not sure if we've even checked out one track uh, from this, but, uh, you know, this is the album right after uh, Who's Next, so we're going in order. You know, I wasn't aware we were doing a Who deep dive, but I guess we're getting started, dude. Uh, so thank you, uh, Arnie, Patreon member. And if you want to become part of the Patreon crew, going over to patreon.com slash John Slop, and uh, you can submit your own requests. Uh, so... What we are going to do for this album, we're going to do a little bit of research. Dude, we're going to read the wiki a little bit and then jump on into the album. Uh, so, uh, we're going to be reading the lyrics as we're going along. And uh, I'll have them up on the screen for you. And, um, yeah, so let's do a little bit of wikiing. You know, uh, just getting into the who. They are loud. They are proud. Uh, bombastic. Um, so if you haven't checked out any of my other Who reactions, go back and check that out. We have, uh, Who's Who, uh, or Who's Next, that's what I meant, Who's Next, Side A, currently up on YouTube right now. Uh, by the time this comes out, Side 2 might have come out on YouTube. So, just go on and check those out. We've also done a few live performance reactions. So, uh, Quadrophenia is the sixth studio album by the English rock band of The Who, released as a double album on 26 October uh, 1973 by Track Records. It is the group's third rock opera. Whoa. The two previous being the mini opera song, A Quick One While He's Away, and the album Tommy. So we have not checked out any of those previous uh, things. The song, A Quick One While He's Away. Oh, actually, that one does ring a bell. We might have actually checked that one out. Uh, and then the album Tommy, we have not touched on that at all. Uh, so, um, set in London in Brighton in 1968, the story follows a young mod named Jimmy and his search for self-worth and importance. A young mod. So, you know, I've heard of uh, that word before, but let's just, uh, mod from the word modernist is a subculture that began in London and spread throughout Great Britain and elsewhere, eventually influencing fashions and trends in other countries and continues today on a smaller scale focused on music and fashion. Uh, the subculture has roots in a small group of stylish London based young men in the late 1950s who were termed modernists because they listened to modern jazz. Gotcha, gotcha, okay. Okay, well, very interesting. That's uh, an interesting subculture that I honestly didn't know much about. I've heard it just referenced in, like, other media before. I think, uh, yeah, just in terms of fashion, I think. Okay, well, we got a bigger picture. Um, uh, so the group started work on the album in 1972, trying to follow up Tommy and Who's Next?, both of which had achieved substantial critical and commercial success. Uh, recording was delayed while bassist John N. Twistle and singer Roger Daltrey recorded solo albums and drummer Keith Moon worked on films. Whoa, okay. Okay, cool. Keith Moon working on films. What, what kind of films? Because a new studio was not finished in time, the group had to use Ronnie Lane's mobile studio. The album makes significant use of Townsend's multi-track synthesizers and sound effects as well as Entwistle's layered horn parts. Wow, I think we're getting a little bit too much information, to be honest. I would love to just jump on in and just be a little surprised. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's just uh, bring up the lyrics here, friends. It's going to be um, highlighting them as we go along, so just follow along. Uh, this first track, we have... Uh, what is this? Where's the track listing? I Am The Sea. So, uh, let's just... Jump on into it, friends. So, I'm so excited, guys. The Who, Quadrophenia from, uh, when was this even released? Uh, released in October 26, 1973. We already read that. All right, so, uh, just feel free to share any other information. 
Uh, I know there was a lot more to read, but we just don't got time, dude. So we're going to start on these uh, lyrics here with I am the sea. Here we go. Synthesizers, dude. Oh, my gosh. an intro. Wow. So, what a wild first track. I assume it's supposed to go straight into the second track. So, wow. I don't know what to make of these lyrics. I am the sea. Is it me for a moment? So, yeah. Modernist thinking, right? You're thinking kind of new age. Uh, bellboy, bellboy. Love rain over me. I know that's one of the songs, right? Can you see the real me? Can you? Can you? Let's keep it going. Track two. Okay, let's pause it real quick. So, uh, wow, just jumping right into the energy here. Just classic, uh, like rock and roll, kind of a punk speed, honestly, like they're known for. Uh, this is my favorite part of The Who is just when they just go fast, when the tempo is really fast. Uh, great vocals, dude, Roger, coming in with the epic voice. Um, so the lyrics, uh, so the character can't... Can't find any uh, help 
from a uh, mom or doctor, dude. Nope. They're, uh, they're, they're a little behind on the times, the doctors and parents, you know, you gotta just, I understand. I understand. It's, it's, it was, it was probably a lot tougher back then too. All right, let's keep it going. Wow. The cracks between the paving stones, like rivers of flowing veins. Ooh, like the land underneath you is like alive. Er, interesting. Okay, let's keep it going. Wow. Can you see the real me? Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. We have to go back and look at these lyrics. So, wow. Wow. Pete Townsend is just uh, ripping us, ripping in our ears, dude, with that guitar. It's just, uh, just strumming the crap out of it. I love how it sounds. I love the tone on that guitar, how twangy it is, uh, with a little bit of distortion. Um... Yeah, no, this song was great. The song's awesome, dude. Starting off at a 10 out of 10. Like, the energy is just wild. And uh, the story is interesting, too. Like, we're just kind of... Oh, dude. Um, Wow, so rock operas are a thing. You know, I think my first rock opera was Green Day's uh, American Idiot. And uh, this is giving me a little bit of those vibes. Um, Wow, very interesting, you know, commentary on maybe a... Uh, society. I don't. I don't know, dude. Let's wait until we get further in to decide what the overall what themes there are. We're just at the beginning. So went to a preacher. Went to mother. Went to a doctor. Couldn't get help. Still, just no nowhere to go. So he showed me to the Golden Gate. San Francisco. Is that or is that a euphemism for something? What do you think? All right, let's just uh. Can you see? Can you see? And then the outro. All right, that was a lot of fun. Uh, let's jump into the next one. <laughs> 